I was born in, in Lethbridge, Alberta. Uh, both, my, both my parents are uh, raised in Lethbridge, so uh, you know I'm as Canadian as it gets. And being kind of a hockey town, we, you know, I never, I never was a fan of hockey. My dad was never a fan of hockey, and we just got stuck into into soccer. Um, I remember my dad always telling me. They tried to throw me into baseball first, but I'd just keep running all over the place and, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't stick in one position. So they're like, okay, we gotta, we got to throw this kid into soccer. At least he can, he can run and do his thing. So I think that's kind of how I got stuck in, in soccer and I just kept, kept building from there. I loved it. Um, you know, my parents never put any pressure on me to, to go outside and train more and do more. I think the, the passion just kind of built from, from within. And when I was 14 years old was the first year that I got selected with the uh, Alberta team and then the, the Canadian under 15 team. So that was the first kind of age where I realized, you know, I, I want to do this more than just a fun hobby and, you know, weekend type thing. And we had our first uh, international trip with under 15 team over to Germany. And that was, I think, when it all kind of clicked, like professional environment, professional teams, the stadiums over there. Uh, that was my first taste of, you know, kind of saying that's that's where I wanna, that's where I wanna take this, that's where I wanna go. I used to wake up in the morning and call agents from over in England and try to explain to them that there was a kid in Lethbridge, Alberta, that they should have a look at, and you know, how do I get overseas or how do I, how, you know, like, and, and I didn't have any contacts, I didn't know anybody, didn't know anybody who knew anybody, so. There was kind of that end of the road for me type feeling until the Calgary storm came around and that was when I turned 16 and um, Thomas Niendorf at the time was the head coach and he had uh, scouted me or spotted me playing with Lethbridge and invited me up to, to be a part of the team when I was 16. So I moved away from home when I was 16 to, to Calgary to hopefully uh, you know get one step closer to that to that dream of playing professionally and after the season, the team kind of have folded and kind of withered away. There was, um, you know, no real place to go. We had organized a, a trial for me to go overseas and go to Germany, where I had uh, a week trial with Bayern Munich. And then the week after that, I was with 1860 Munich, which was literally right across the street. And that's kind of where it started for me. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you don't work hard, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not going to work out for you. And uh, as far as you know, professional habits, I think going over to Germany or moving over to Germany at such a young age created this professional environment in my blood. Um, you know, I've I've never been one to give up out on the field or or in the gym. Um, I try to be very professional when I go home, and you know, nobody's there to push you. There's no coaches or other teammates. And, you know, as far as the fitness aspect of it, moving to Germany was unbelievable to see, you know, the, the amount of fitness that, that they do. They have two preseasons throughout the year, one before the season and one kind of midway through the season that the teams would fly away somewhere for two weeks and do preseason camps. And, you know, they would wake up at 6.30 in the morning, go for a run, come back, have their breakfast, and at 10.30 they were out training for their first training session come back in, have lunch, and at four o'clock they were out for a third training session. And that's how their preseason goes. And it was almost like if you survived the preseason, you were, you were good to go in the season. And I think doing that for, for 12 years, that's you know 24 preseason camps that I had with them, you build this respect for, for being a professional athlete and, and you get these good habits where you know, when you go home on the weekends and there's no there's no soccer, no football, you still stick to these habits because you know it's it's a job. I think describing myself as a player is is hard, um, only for the reason that I think I'm 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 pretty humble and laid back, and I know a lot of people love to be the flashy player who scores a lot of goals, takes players on one v one, but I. I don't think those attributes are, are my style of, of play. You know, I've, I've been known to be a box-to-box, hard-working midfielder. Um, you know, uh, a lot of people say that I do the jobs that nobody else likes to or wants to do. You know, the defensive work of, you know, winning the ball back, closing down spaces. 
Um, and I think a lot of that work goes unseen throughout the game. Um, but that's the stuff that I like doing. Um, you know, I like coming off the field after 90 minutes and just being completely exhausted mentally, physically, knowing that, you know, I, I gave everything. Um, and as far as the, the actual type of player that I am on the field, um, I like to be basic and simple, but, but very effective in the way I play. Um, I try to keep things, you know, one, two touch, but uh, I try to influence the rhythm of the game quite a bit by, by the pace of which I can play, um, you know, spreading the ball, keeping possession, uh, joining in with the attack when I, when I can, as well as, you know, being a vital part of the, the defense and winning the ball back.